by you guys is a little bit about my mom because she has a, she has a wild laugh. And so I imagine my mom in school having the same situation as you guys go through. I was like, my mom's laugh is so wild. I'm like, how did she make it to school and things like that? So I'm like, okay, let me write a story and it's in verse. And that means it rhymes. So I look out for some rhymes. The name of the story is Little Phyllis Loves to Laugh. Little Phyllis Loves to Laugh. So this is a mock-up book. This is a mock-up book. Come on in on this. Come on in on this. I'm just about to read the story because. So it's a mock-up book. So that means that I use my arts and craft skills, copy machine, uh, Photoshop, staples, paper, and came up with a book. It's not published or anything like that. I'd like it to be. I'm self-publish it. And so this is just a craft project pretty much right now. It's not the real thing. It's not in the stores right now. Okay. So little Phyllis loves to laugh. So this is the first thing to we'll walk through and walk through. What do you call that? Uh, uh, picture walk. So as you notice, it's all black and white. I haven't come up with a color scheme yet. Most of it is black and white. imaginary story based on what I imagine her, her life being like as a student. With her personality and her laugh, you know, sometimes she would laugh for no reason, you know, and people are like, what, why are you laughing? She just liked to laugh, you know. And so I just sort of scaled it down to grade school. Sometimes my mom's laugh, to be honest, would uh, make me feel uncomfortable when I was in school, like when I was your age and stuff. I know how you feel, man. Embarrassing. I've, 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 I've grown to, you know, to, to, to at least love it. So, anyway. So, you guys ready to read the book? Yes. All right, here we go. Little Phyllis loved to laugh. She laughed loud. So loud that she drew a crowd. In uniform, I'm ending. Little Phyllis laughed unprovoked. She is not ticklish. No need to tell her a joke. It never took much to make her guffaw. She laughed in the schoolyard. She laughed down the hall. She just laughed and laughed. Little Phyllis laughed her way into class. There she is, like, that's her mood. She's just laughing and laughing. She's on her way to class. Teacher said, it's time for work. But on her face remained a smirk. Trying to hold back her laughter. Let me see. One of her, one of her um, classmates are at the board. They're trying to figure out a problem. But she's, is, is, where's her face? Is she facing? 
attention here. No. No. Uh, she's facing uh, her friends or trying to get attention, I guess, in some way. She started to wiggle. So then, upset her, followed by a giggle. Is she the teacher? Then her classmates got distracted. Teacher reacted, saying, for disrupting the room, I want to see you after school. Oh, after school, teacher said, now little Phyllis, I know you love to laugh. <laughs> you laugh from the schoolyard. You laugh down the hall. You just laugh and laugh. But it's not okay to play and laugh in class. Little Phyllis walked home with a lowered head. It's after school, she's walking home. Got a lowered head. When she got home, she asked Mom, Dad, is laughing bad? It seems to make my teacher sad. Dad looked at Mom. Mom looked at Dad. They didn't know what to do. Then they reminded her of when she was two. She loved jelly beans so much she ate them two by two. There she is contemplating those jelly beans. She's and there she is. Her head looks like a little jelly bean. She's so, you know, you know, like they say, you are what you eat. So, next page. You ate so many that your tummy hurt you, said Dad. When it came to jelly beans, enough was never enough. That night, she cried till the sun came up. Then Mom said, sometimes we can have too much of a good thing. Even laughing. Do you know what I mean? You know what we mean? It's mom and dad. That's such a good audience. I said so much of a good thing. You know what I mean? Little Phyllis perked up. Said, yes, mommy. No, her mood's changed. She's happy now. She's found a solution. Then the very next morning at school, little Phyllis said, teacher, teacher, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, laughs too much. I laugh on the schoolyard. I laugh down the hall. I just laugh and laugh. I even laugh in your class. Well, enough is enough, like jelly beans. Notice how this page is not really completely finished. Teacher said, what do you, what do you mean? She had never heard such a silly thing. Um, yeah, it's like jelly beans. When you eat so many, you eat too many and it makes you feel bad. Eat too many jelly beans and it makes you feel bad. The teacher heard that. <laughs> she laughed. She laughed loud, so loud that she grew proud. Now you can the day. Oh, How'd you like the, uh, the illustration? It was awesome. Mom's name is Phyllis, yeah. Mom's name is Phyllis. She didn't, she didn't mind. It made her laugh. She, she feels kind of, she feels flattered by it. So, um, thank you very much.